something. I don't know, but I can't believe I have another one of these to read. Hello, 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 friends. Welcome to a reading vlog. It is President's Day weekend, and I have a legitimate three-day weekend. I decided to give myself a challenge. Um, last year, over Memorial Day weekend, I read the entire To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy over that three-day weekend. And recently, I've had a couple friends who told, tell me that I really needed to read The Summer I Turned Pretty Series, also by Jenny Hong. So I listened to them, and so this weekend, I am challenging myself to read all three books from The Summer I Turned Pretty series. This one I started last night and I still read a little bit this morning when I was waiting for my tax appointment. I'm on page 60 right now. It's really quick, really fast. I think I could honestly read a couple of these in a day if I like really did it. That probably won't happen. I'll keep you hopefully updated. I kind of hate every vlog that I do and I always forget to vlog which is why I hate them but we're learning, we're growing, we're doing the damn thing. Hello. Oh, it's been like five hours since I <clears throat> last updated, which was the intro for this video, so I haven't done any reading. Are we shocked? No. But I watched some Grace and Frankie, and I just finished The Cheetah Girls 2. And now I'm going to focus on reading. I think maybe I'm going to try and read out on the couch in the living room because I'm kind of feeling tired laying in this bed so I think a change of scenery will help me. Oh and, wel oh, and welcome to the most awkward update of this vlog. And I do actually have an update this time. I did a lot of reading. I just sat down and read for an hour and I'm now on page 229 so I have like 50 pages left and in that hour I read 105 pages so I'm really just trucking right on through this. It's about 8 o'clock at night right now so I'm going to make some okay not make some dinner I didn't eat dinner so I'm gonna like have a bagel with cream cheese on it um so I'm gonna go do that right now and then I'm gonna sit down and finish this book and because it's only eight o'clock and it's not even going to take me an hour to read these last 50 pages I'll probably start the second book which would be awesome um, anyway, it would be awesome to get ahead on this trilogy because I have another book from the library. The device is too hot. Why? Oh my god. Well, okay. It, it is 9.16 and I have just finished The Summer I Turned Pretty and I have thoughts. I thought it was okay. I'm giving it three stars, but like... I feel like to a certain extent it wasn't what I was expecting and not necessarily in a good way. The main focus of the book or like what took up a lot, the majority of the pages of this book was not what I thought the whole point was um, and like none of that really happened until the end and like... First of all, I hate that she's called Belly. Like, I truly hate it. When Belly just, like, kisses Conrad as he's crying on the beach, just like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get the attraction. A lot of the stuff was, like, really predictable for me. Like, I pretty much assumed <laughs> from, one, when I learned that Susanna used to have cancer, and two, when... Um, Belly's family shows up at the house and her mom sees Susanna. She, like, is teary-eyed. I was like, okay, she's sick again. And then, like, the very last chapter, just that wild-ass time jump that doesn't make any sense. I was just like, why? But regardless, um, I gave it three stars. It, like, wasn't bad. Like I said, it was okay. Now get to walk over here and the second one and I'm going to start reading that right now yo so I'm like I'm on page 24 of <clears throat> it's not summer without you and I am already annoyed Taylor 
is a shitty ass friend and I thought that in the first book from the flashbacks and she clearly hasn't changed and I hate that Belly feels obligated to be her friend just because they've been best friends forever. I don't care, she's a shitty friend. Also, I hate how the word so is used in these books. It's just randomly put in places where it doesn't make sense. I'm just like, Bleh. We did get clarification about that <clears throat> weird ass last chapter in the last book. But like, I still don't understand why it was in that book. And we've made this huge time jump again to the middle of the summer of the following year. And like a lot of things happened in between where she keeps hinting at and I'm just like I felt like it could be part of the story than just random flashbacks or random mentionings but whatever I'm probably not gonna read much longer oh I just looked ahead to see when this chapter ends and it's like the next page and we get different perspectives in this book so that's litty as I was saying I don't know how much longer I'm going to read tonight because I'm kind of tired yeah we'll see where this goes I'm intrigued um, okay, I, I just continued reading, and just further down the page, there's this outrageous line that I can't believe is real, and I'm going to read it to you. Taylor, the shitty friend she is, gets mad at Belly for grieving, and says that her mom thinks that Belly should go see someone. And Belly's like, oh my god, you've been talking to your mom about me? Tell your mom to save her psych psychiatric advice for Ellen. Taylor gasped, I can't believe you just said that to me. Their cat... Ellen had seasonal affective disorder, according to Taylor's mother. They had her on antidepressants all winter, and when she was still moody in the spring, they sent Ellen to a cat whisperer. It didn't do any good. In my opinion, Ellen was just plain mean. <laughs> a fucking cat was seasonal affective disorder. Oh, that's some good shit. That's good shit right there. Hello friends, guess what? I forgot to vlog. It is almost, it's like 20 to 2 on Sunday now, question mark. I read about 20 pages um, in It's Not Summer Without You last night and I sat down to read for a little bit now. I set a timer for 60 minutes and it still hasn't gone off. But I thought I would update. I'm now on page 101. And things are a little bit spicy. We've gotten a lot of background context now, which is actually pertinent to the story, the plot. And I'm interested in seeing where the rest of this goes. Also, Belly just put on a necklace she found in Conrad's room that she just knows is for her. And I'm nervous about where this is gonna go. Ooh. But Taylor's still a shitty friend. Um, I still hate that Belly feels obligated to be her friend. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. I'll check in later. Hello. I read a little bit more. I have just over a hundred pages left in the book it's 3 p.m now so i'm just going to sit down and finish this book because so i can definitely finish it probably within the hour maybe a little bit more and then i can start the final one since it's so early in the day i could get like a decent amount in to the next book um in comparison to the last couple days where i've only read like 20 30 pages i am so excited this is going much quicker, much quicker than I thought it would, but that's good, right? So it's been an hour since my last update, and I'm still not done. I still have like 40, like 50 pages left, but like, I don't like this. Belly is really juvenile and infuriating. So I get like she's a teenager and I definitely behave that way, but like, I don't quite think I behave that way as like a 16 year old turning 17 year old oh, it's so cringy and I hate it and honestly at this point <laughs> Belly and Conrad deserve each other I 
just finished It's Not Summer Without You. And I'm so tired. I don't really want to read the next one, but I'm going to because I'm challenging myself <laughs> in more ways than I thought I was going to. I gave this two stars because... Belly and Conrad are the absolute worst, and they don't deserve any good person in their life, specifically Jeremiah. I truly did not like that at all. It's almost five. I'm... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I definitely need to take a break before reading, starting the next one. Hello, bitches. I'm back, and my hair is looking as whack as ever. I just wanted to let you know I'm about to start... The last book will always have summer, that's what it's called, um, on my Kindle because for some reason the Denver Public Library has multiple copies of the first two books in the series, but not a single physical copy of the third book. Is that a bad omen? I'm thinking it might be. I have a pop socket on my Kindle and it's truly changed my life, but I will keep you again. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. Allow, allow me to give you some context for my face at the end of that time lapse. If you caught it. Fucking Belly went to college with fucking Taylor. Her... Oh! I was so excited because I read that Belly was studying with her new best friend, Annika Johnson. I was like, hell yeah, fuck you, Taylor. And then I read, and my old best friend, Taylor Jewell. <laughs> I'm so mad. Just found out that the co- I almost dropped that straight on my face. Just found out that the college Belly went to was because it was the school Jeremiah went to, and I, this book is canceled. Y'all, I'm on page 60, and I'm shook. <laughs> I cannot believe what I just read. Belly broke up with Jeremiah because he slept with another girl, like, over their spring break when they were kind of broken up. Yeah, she was, like, pissed, and they broke up. And then she called him over to come back to, like, make up with him. Not necessarily get back together, but just, like, this talk about it. My man pulls out a ring <laughs> and asks her to marry him. And she says yes! She... Oh, I have so much anxiety right now because like no offense but like you're stupid if you don't think she's gonna end up with Conrad. I'm so nervous about how messy this is going to get and how insufferable Belly is going to be. Yo 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 it is four o'clock on Sunday. I didn't do any reading this morning so just because like honestly I don't care. And I don't want to read this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I have been reading for a little bit now. I was on page 101, and now I'm on page 145. I just, I can't believe the wild shit that is happening. Okay, so they just told their family, families, and <laughs> literally no one is excited or happy about it. It was so painful to read. And Belly's mom does not support it at all and she's not even gonna go to the wedding and Belly just got so mad at her mom she literally moved out and she's like I'm just gonna go stay at the summer house. But you know who else is staying there? Conrad. This shit is gonna get spicy and I can't wait. Hello, hello, my people. I finally did it at like 6.30. I finished We'll Always Have Summer, which means I finished the Summer Trilogy by Jenny Han. And you know, I have thoughts, but I'm going to wait to like discuss this book until I sit down and do a full debrief closing for this vlog. Just want to let you know that I finished it and I will see you soon. Yo, it is Saturday of this week now so it's been a few days 
So obviously I read the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. I think overall as a series I would give it three three stars maybe maybe 2.5. I really didn't enjoy it that much. It just didn't live up to my expectations. Like I know if I had read the series in middle school or like early high school I would have been all over this shit. Just to start I ended up giving this book three out of five stars which I am shocked about as well. I truly, after really not liking the second book, I, well one, like, you know, I didn't want to finish the series even, and two, I was like, this last book is not gonna be good. But you know what? It wasn't that bad. I finished it and I was like, you know what? That was okay. I, <laughs> there were some things that if it, the one were just like absolutely fucking ridiculous and I was like, this ain't it. But also things that if it had been like that, I probably would have loved it. Like again, my whole problem with this series is I was just expecting so much more. It just genuinely wasn't what I was expecting. Back to the fourth book. Uh, listen, at the beginning when... Jeremiah proposed to her. We know how fucking ridiculous is that that is, right? Like we don't need to discuss that. How the book wrapped up, like how the um, wedding fell apart, was very anticlimactic to me. I wanted more, and this might be controversial, but I would have loved if there had been some cheating going on. Because when, that's truly what I thought was going to happen when I started reading this. I was like, holy shit, she's going to be engaged to Jeremiah, fuck Conrad, and it's just going to be this huge implosion. And you know, we didn't get that. And I think that we'd have that, even if it was just like a little, a little smooch, a little kiss, the power that kiss would have held, oh I just really wished we had that because all we got instead was some half-baked confession of love from Conrad, which I don't give a fuck about. It was just pointless. Like I like I we know like we already know, and like Belly should too. Like she's fucking stupid if she didn't think that. And then Belly just tells Jeremiah that like Conrad confessed that he still loves me. And he's like, do you still love him? And I can't quite remember. Either she said yes or couldn't give him an answer. Anyway, he gets pissed and leaves and just like isn't there the morning of their wedding. And Conrad goes to find them. And Jeremiah fucking rips him a whole new one. And I stan. I was like, you better go off. Like talking about how Conrad has just always treated Belly like this toy that he can pick up and play with whenever he wants to, but like never really took her seriously. And I was like, you are preaching to the choir. The whole um letter from their mom of to, for them to like read on their wedding days. The fact that she mixed up the envelopes with the letters and put Conrad's in the <laughs> envelope addressed to Jeremiah. Jeremiah reads it and in that letter she talks about, like, Conrad, I hope the woman you're marrying you love as much as Belly. <laughs> you can't, you can't get any better than that. The wedding is off. They, Jeremiah and Belly break up. And then we get this dumbass epilogue like we got in all of these books where it's years in the future, Belly's gone and been single and found herself. Inevitably, she ends up with Conrad, which I was shocked that she didn't immediately end up with Conrad. I gave this three stars if I didn't say that. I think I might have. I don't know. Because it was okay. Um, anyway, like I said, the series just wasn't what I was expecting and I feel like there was a lot of wasted potential in it. But again, if I had read these back back when, they would have been my shit. That's going to do it for this vlog. Please enjoy this shirt because I always will. Thank you so much for watching. I had fun doing this. This was my first like pleasant 
um, I would dare I say successful vlogging attempt and I will see you next time for a new one. Bye!